You see where uh, Kazimi, Kazimi, the prime minister of Iraq, he confirms that his trip you know, to Washington, D.C., looks forward. He looks forward to working with the International Monetary Fund. Now, who was there? Fab Four. IMF is one of the Fab Four, isn't it? Yes, it is. You should read this article. Because then Kazimi and Trump got together, and they talked to the IMF. Here it is. Look at this. Look at the highlights. Look at this in red. In red. You know we don't use red. Well, this is extremely important. What do you think they talk about here? The IMF. Let me see. IMF is in charge of telling banks, central banks of different countries, you know, if they can print new currency, if they can print new coins, if they can, um, if they can uh, uh, raise the value, uh, decrease the value, if they can destroy a certain denomination and replace it with another. In other words, anything to do with the currency of a country, um, the IMF deals with it, with that country, with the central bank. Yeah. So the IMF was uh, there with Kazimi in Washington, D.C., with Donald Trump. What do you think they talked about? Well, here, Frank, it tells me what they talked about. You think that's all they talked about? This is superficial. The media doesn't want you to know. Heck, this, this, these articles come from, from the Arab world, not from the United States of America. <laughs> when you read more and more and more, you come to a, you come to a conclusion or, or to an article. Watch, I'm trying to get to it. Hold on. Uh, Iraq-American partnerships, uh, foreign experience, and opportunities for economic advancement. Economic advancement. Well, the only way you're going to advance economically is if you have uh, <laughs> uh, an accepted currency. An accepted rate, no, right? Right? I mean, come on, we're not, there's no, we, we don't need to play, we don't need to trick ourselves with words, you know, well, wait a minute, what do you say? But, but there's a caveat. No, 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 very simply, very simply, you want to join the international world? Yeah. You want economic growth internationally? Yeah. Well, you know what to do. I have an article in here, I don't know, I don't know, I'm trying my best to get you everything, but we may not have time for everything now that I think about it. It's already uh, catching up on us. I have an article in here that uh, is showing um, is showing that uh, um, well, actually, it's it's trying to say that that Kuwait embarrassed Iraq on purpose. They belittled them. And when I read the article, I'm like, huh? I pick up the phone. I go, Did you see this article? Yeah. Is this from the East? Yeah. Or the, oh, hmm. I don't believe it. Well, you shouldn't because it doesn't come from anybody that's important. Oh. All righty. The article, the article is trying to tell you, family, that, um, oh, dear God, I'm so sorry. I just lost my train of thought. There's so much, you see, there's so much in my head. And I'm trying to remember what, that, what it was that that article just said that, that relates to this. Oh, dear God, please help me. Um, foreign experience and uh, opportunity for economic advancement. Uh, yeah, the article was saying Kuwait embar embarrassed Iraq. How did they embarrass Iraq? What are you talking about? Kuwait's working with uh, uh, Iraq. Well, it turns out that Kuwait did not bring one single penny, not one penny, what do you mean, bring in? Yeah, remember when they, in 2018, when they had the, uh, the international uh, conference? Yeah, in Kuwait? Yeah, remember all the promises that were made? Yeah, not one promise was kept. So, so Kuwait embarrassed Iraq. No, 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 no. This whole cause of my opinion. Donald Trump picks up the phone and he tells Iraq, guys, stop, hold it. What do you mean? The, we, we're ready. I know you are. I know you are, but just stop. Hold on. We're doing some things. Remember, we're doing some things. I'll get back to that in a minute. So, in the meantime, they, they, they develop this partnership, each other, for economic advancements. Ladies and gentlemen, Kuwait did not bring in one single stinking penny two years ago. There's articles out right now. They're from uh, they're, they're they're from Clinton from Clinton people. And these articles are saying, "Oh look, look what Kuwait did. They embarrassed Iraq. They didn't two years ago. They promised them hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of economic investments. Nothing. Um, yeah, but you you don't tell the truth. You don't tell all of it. And uh, in my opinion, family, um, stop. What do you mean stop? Iraq, 
Are you going to raise the value? Well, we're doing it. Okay, when you raise the value, we'll come in. Oh, okay. They didn't raise the value 2018, 2019. Here we are, 2020. They still haven't raised the value. Do you think that any of this is going to happen? Do you think that Kuwait's going to pour in? They are. They did. In Washington, D.C. Do you understand? Do you understand? Okay. What happens when you mix, uh, what is it, blue and green together? I think the primary color is blue and green. What happens when you mix them together? Uh, 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 no, blue and red. Blue and red. Isn't it blue and red? I think blue and red comes... Blue and red is purple, isn't it? Yeah. Blue and yellow is green. Blue and yellow is green. That's it. That's it. I knew it. I knew I, what I was talking about. Blue and yellow. When you mix them together, what happens? You get green. You don't have stripes of blue and stripes of yellow. You get another color. This... This, 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 this getting together with, I mean, you're talking about going over to the United States of America. We're, going, we're talking about going to Donald Trump. He ain't going to waste no time. This is the perfect time. And you know what he brought with him. You know what he brought? The white papers. Hmm. So, Kuwait, you didn't pour in? No. Why? We were told to wait. Until what? They raised the value. All of a sudden, Kuwait, did you go to this conference in Washington, D.C.? Yes, we did. You son of a gun. What they say? We didn't say anything. We signed everything. You signed everything. The only thing you care about is the HCL, Article 140, things of that sort. We signed them all. Now, ladies and gentlemen, go back in your memory. Do you remember I told you, family, they're passing a lot of laws. Hmm. What was this? This was about a month ago, maybe four, maybe five weeks ago. Look in your notes. Ah, you remember. Come on. Family, you know, they're passing a lot of laws right now. Parliament, you know, something to do. <laughs> they're passing laws. But they're not implementing them. And and some of you caught on to that. You said, aha! And what that, the reason I, uh, the, the reason why that's important is because they're implementing them now. <laughs> These meetings would not be real. These meetings would not exist. You think Donald Trump is going to waste his time? Don't you think that Donald Trump knows the answer to what we are asking? <laughs> I'm sorry. Right. right? What's the next one? And, and they're, they're sequential, by the way. One after the other. Watch this. The Union of Arab Banks discusses ways to support uh, central banks. Nothing. What did we talk about last Monday? GCC. Did I not mention a monetary union? Oh, yeah, you did. How come nobody ever talked about this on my forum? How come the internet didn't talk about this? Too bad you should have. There it is. Then, and look at, look at me, all the good stuff that's on it. Parliament finance decision explains why the dollar has not declined in Iraq compared to other currencies, or uh, to other countries. <gasps> really? I mean, I know there's power in the word of God. There's power in the, the word of these articles, family. How could you not talk about this on our forum? CBI. Mm -hmm. you, you can't have uh, uh, multiple currencies, right? No, Trump doesn't want us to do that. He only wants us to use our currency to add value to it. Stop using the American dollar. Well, only in certain things when we sell our oil. Well, how come, how come uh, you, this article... Uh, you guys released this? Yes, the GOI released this. Not the CBI? No, the GOI. All righty. And, 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 and if I understand, you're telling me GOI. How, by the way, GOI, who told you this? It's the CBI. Oh, okay. And what did the CBI tell you? That the American dollar is strong with us, and we're not going to decline it. Why? We got rid of all the other currencies. We're not using anything else. Why? 
American dollar is important to us. Yeah, I bet it is. But not the way it used to be, right? That's right. It's more of a, it's more of a pegging, huh? Basket, huh? That's right. That's why. And then, when you flip this over, it says, Iraq is moving to join global trade. Not at a program rate. What's this from, Kaka Media? I mean, that's a lie, isn't it? That's got to be a lie. They're, they're a program rate. No, they're not. This, um, this article is just pill. Look at this. Look at, look at all the colors. Ladies and gentlemen. And then there's a, one more article, which I didn't really uh, get to yet, where it says the outcome of the United States presidential election will depend on the meeting between Donald Trump and Kazemi in Washington, D.C. Really? CNN, ABC, NBC, CBS, all you guys, how come you ain't talking about this? You don't want him to win. You're doing everything possible to make sure he doesn't win. What's the latest rumor? Uh, the president, when he loses, will not evacuate uh, the White House. That's the same thing you said four years ago. Come on, think of something else.